Hello and welcome. My name is Walter Chambers and today I'm going to be sharing with you my purpose. My purpose drives me every single day of my life. Purpose can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people, but for me, it's the ultimate reason why I'm alive today. It's why I wake up in the morning. It's why I do anything and everything with my knowledge and power to help other people. To me, that is the meaning of purpose. And how I discovered my purpose uh, was a process. Uh, it's not as simple as just waking up one day and being like, I know, I know my purpose. <laughs> I had to discover it by taking action. And there's three significant moments, personally, that changed my life and helped me discover my purpose. The first of which was when I was 15 years old. I wanted to play Pop Warner football and play football with my friends. But when I went to go sign up, uh, they said I was overweight. It was a 150 pound weight maximum for my age limit. And uh, I was over 150 pounds and this devastated me. It was the first moment in my life where I started to reflect on my physical self. So it was that experience that physically allowed me to change. The next moment was a mental change. I was going into my freshman year of college, uh, second semester. Uh, had a lot of uh, fun during that time uh, and a lot of bad habits that were really leading me down the wrong path in life. And... Uh, it took me one moment, literally one moment where I haven't worked out in over a year and decided to work out, did a high intensity interval training workout, pushed myself, thought I could do what I previously could do and failed. And I remember at the end of the workout, I stumbled over into the bathroom, ready to vomit. And uh, I just looked in the mirror and just didn't even recognize myself. I didn't understand how I became the person that I saw in the mirror. I didn't know who it was. It was someone that I didn't want to be. It was someone that I never want to be again. So it was that day that I just reflected and said, you know what? I hate the way I feel right now. Mentally. I'm at my worst, and I never want to feel this way again. So I decided to change that day forward. But not only that, I wanted to inspire other people that felt the same way when they looked at their reflection in the mirror. It was that moment that decided a catalyst of events where I started to study personal training. I started to up my education on fitness and wellness, uh, supplementation, uh, just anatomy, physiology, all these different areas that I just never really touched upon with full focus and intent. And it was that moment that allowed me to change mentally and discover my purpose. And lastly was a spiritual, a spiritual, spiritual change that changed my future. Uh, it was going into my junior year of college that I found out my dad was diagnosed with prostate cancer. And this was the strongest person I ever met in my life. Uh, he was my rock. He was everything to me. And uh, getting this news devastated me. Um, I didn't know what to think or how to feel. And I had a moment of clarity one day where I said, what if this happened for a reason? What if there's something I could do to help prevent other people from going through these health issues and going through these struggles with themselves or even their family members? What if there is something that I could do with my power, my knowledge, my energy, all these different areas? What if there was something I can do to help other people and build a platform for those people to learn 
become inspired and educate themselves on how they could better their lives. I use that moment for inspiration. And it was these three events physically, mentally, and spiritually changing that showed me my purpose. And all of my actions culminated together to ultimately create who I am today and who I will be in the future. So when it comes to my purpose for being a coach, being a trainer, it's to inform, inspire, educate, and elevate. Now, what I mean by inform, it's to build awareness by delivering quality information about strengths and weaknesses. So awareness for me is what helped me discover my purpose. It helped me change. And if it wasn't for these events that I went through to give me a deeper level of awareness of who I am, how I'm thinking, and who I am will become with my current habits and actions, I would have never changed. Awareness is the first step and that's what I want to show people. I want to show people this is what you're really, really good at. You're excellent at this. You've been practicing this for forever. You excel in this area, but there's another area. What about your weaknesses? What are your weaknesses? Are your weaknesses holding you back are they overpowering your strengths and that's why it's holding you back from changing your goals you know what are these areas that we can improve in and i want to discover that in people because everyone has their own strengths and weaknesses and everyone can improve both of these areas and that's the first step of fulfilling my purpose personally next is inspiring so now that you've built the awareness of, okay, cool, here's who I am, here's what I'm great at, here's what I'm bad at, here's where I can improve, next step is becoming inspired to take action. And the best way to become inspired to take action, which is exactly what I shared earlier, is discovering your why. Why do you want to change? Why do you want to become better? Why do you want to do anything and everything that you want to do and that's how you start to create action that's how you start to spider-man web sling to that why to drive that action every single time that you want to take action any time that you're hesitating any time there's this voice in your mind that says, hey, I don't know if I should do this. I don't know if I can do this. Your why will always squash that voice and eliminate it and say, you can do it. And that's what I want to instill in people's minds is discovering what inspires them to take action. The next step is education. So you are aware of what can change and who you are. You are inspired to take action. You always go back to your why. You, it's clear in your mind. Now you can open your mind to education and learning so that you can start to learn the strategies that can propel you to your goals. And I'm not just talking about any type of strategies. I'm talking about applied knowledge with years and years of experience used to create these strategies that I've personally made. And it's these strategies that drives results every single time. The principles are fundamentally the same it's just teaching you the right strategies that will work for you and your goals and your mind, your strengths, 
your weaknesses, and so on and so forth. But we must go through this process from informing to inspiring to properly educating you so that you get the right knowledge to eventually hmm. elevate you. elevate to the next level. That was Siri. <laughs> and elevating to the next level is the end of my purpose because if you can elevate your mind, elevate your body, elevate your spirit, then you will become a better version of yourself. And how we elevate you is by optimizing your skills and leveling up your experience to the next level. And again, in order for that to happen, you must go through this order. And this is how I've helped dozens and dozens and dozens of men and women completely change their lives by first informing them inspiring, educating, and then lastly, elevating them to the person that they believed that they can be. And that is my purpose. And that is why I'm here with you today, sharing this with you, because this is the primary reason why I want to help people. It's going through those three moments that allowed me to change physically, mentally, and spiritually. And teaching you by properly informing you, finding your inspiration, properly edu educating you, and elevating your mind and body to the next level. So I encourage you to take the time to go to waltworkout.com and Read some of our art articles on mindset, training, nutrition, you name it. And I also encourage you to apply for one-on-one -on -one coaching and work with me directly. So I can listen to your problems, develop solutions, make a customized strategy that will work for you so that you finally achieve the results that you've been working so hard for and so that you elevate to the ultimate version of yourself. So I encourage you to, to again visit waltworkout.com and read our articles, apply for coaching, or even send me a, a message. So thank you for taking the time to listen to my purpose, and I'm looking forward to uh, talking with you again. So long.